The Vandalism Challenge. Kill a player by destroying a car. This is one of the boot camp challenges, which can be found by going to Operator, Challenges, Operations, and Boot Camp. Luckily, this challenge only requires you to do it once. One of the problems with this challenge is the lack of exploding vehicles in Advanced Warfare. In Black Ops 2, for comparison, you had cars exploding left and right on nearly every map. In Advanced Warfare, however, you'll only see a few cars. To make matters worse, the cars are in horrendously placed locations that people will hardly ever be by, which makes getting an explosion kill from one very difficult. So first, let's take a look at the reward for this challenge. You get a pretty nifty picture of a car on fire for the emblem creator. To be honest though, I'd rather have a calling card myself, but what can you do? So allow me to cover some of the more popular maps that have cars in them, including their locations. First, the map Solar. So back by the sea flag are two exploding cars. This is also a hard point location, which makes it a good spot for getting this challenge done. At least with the first car that's closer to the sea flag and the hard point. Oh, and by the way, there are a few stages of the car blowing up if you shoot at it. First, it'll lightly smoke and then the smoke will darken to a black color. Then the hood pops off and starts to flame a little. And eventually it'll completely blow up. To achieve the explosion this takes about a full clip of ammo, which leaves you like a sitting duck while you unload your ammo and hope to blow someone else up with the explosion. Now conversely an explosive will destroy the car instantly in one quick hit. And clearly this is the better option. The next car on solar is in the front of this warehouse type building, which is also a hard point. Unfortunately, it's to the back well out of harm's way, so not many people will ever go near it. The next map is Riot. This has a few good exploding cars in it. The first one is right by the A flag, but there's also a truck behind the A flag. Now this can be a spawn location in some modes, but again, good luck ever getting a kill with this one. It's just way too isolated. Hardly anyone will come by it. So the first good one is by the A flag and unfortunately it will not blow people up attempting to cap this flag, even if they are on the very border of the flag. However, there is also another car directly in front of the A flag, and this one will definitely hit someone attempting to cap the A flag if they're close enough to it. So that makes this car a good ambush target in domination. Next, there's a hard point location located in this building outside of the B flag. You'll see there's a car stuck in the fence that people like to hide behind when this hard point rotation comes around. If it's still unblown when this happens, it's worth a shot to try to ambush someone here. But the best map, in my opinion, is Defender. Now you may be saying, Tabor, there are no exploding vehicles on Defender. And right you are, but there are barrels. And for some reason, barrels count as cars in this game. That's some sledgehammer logic for you right there. So there are three good barrels to utilize. The first is right near the A flag. You can usually catch a few people entering and leaving this tunnel here. And by the way, the barrels are much easier to blow up than actual cars and take just a few bullets. The next barrel is to the right of the B flag, which is also a hardpoint location. It's directly in front of this cookie monster looking stone structure. I found that a lot of people try to enter this hardpoint through the window here, so blowing them up via this barrel can be pretty easy if you time it right. The last barrel is in my opinion the easiest spot for this challenge. It's kind of near the C flag. It's on top of a building near the helicopter pad. To be honest, it's in a convenient location that is very heavily trafficked. People will spawn nearby here and jump on top of this spot to go to the C flag or to head towards the B flag. To make it even more ideal, behind the barrel is a little location that people love to snipe from. You can use this as your own cover and wait in anticipation for someone to come near the barrel. It provides you a perfect lookout zone while offering good protection. And that should do it. I much prefer using these barrels on Defender, especially the last one I just showed you. So not only do the barrels take a lot less bullets to destroy, they are way more conveniently located. Just remember that someone with flak jacket will survive any car explosion. But don't let that get you discouraged. If you shoot a car or a barrel enough times, but don't blow it up instantly, it will literally be a ticking time bomb. You can randomly complete this challenge that way too. And in fact, that's how I did it. Hit it enough times and let it blow up randomly and you may just get lucky. Either way, good luck ambushing your prey. Everyone loves a good car explosion.